Welcome to the Lipper Technical Institute. I'm Charlie and I'll be your technical trainer. Today we're going to go over the Better Bath Trough Sink. Now, let me unpackage this and show it to you. First, we have a box of L brackets. This will help you install that onto your countertop and a stainless steel 14 inch by 10 inch and a six inch depth sink. Now, before we go out to the bay and show you how to install and maintain the sink, Let's take a look at the tools needed. For this installation, you'll need a wireless drill, a jigsaw, a caulk gun with 100% silicone, an X-Acto knife, butyl tape, tape measure, and a straight edge ruler. Now, you'll also need safety glasses. Now, let's go out to the bay and let's get started. Our first step in installing your sink is to take some measurements and determine where it goes. Now we have some pre-existing plumbing here, so we've determined that we're going to put our sink right in the middle of the countertop. So let's measure halfway for the depth. Make a mark. And we're gonna measure the width as well and make a mark halfway, and we're going to uh, create that center reference point. Now that we have our center reference point, we're going to actually create some precise measurements so you can actually cut the countertop out. So we know that the sink is actually 10 inches by 14 inches, and we're going to cut that down by half an inch so you have some lip on the countertop for the sink to sit on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 10 inches of depth and subtract that half inch and you're going to get nine and a half inches. So your four and three quarter mark will be on your reference point and that is where you're going to make your marks. And then at nine and a half, And then your width is going to be 13 and a half inches because of the 14 minus a half inch. And that's going to be six and three quarters. So you put six and three quarters at the reference point and make your left and right marks. Now what we're going to do is, in order for this to be square in this center area, we're going to measure from the edge of the countertop out to your mark and figure out what that distance is and then make a few more marks so it'll be square. And we're going to do this all the way around and then take a straight edge and make your lines. Now you can measure the actual distance and just double check if make sure that that's good. So that's 13 and a half and that is nine and a half. Now let's get our safety glasses on and make those cuts. Now our first step in cutting the countertop out is drilling a hole inside the cutout area. This will give us a spot where we can get the jigsaw blade inside and then just go ahead and cut all the way around your lines. But before we actually cut this out, let's take this drawer out. Now that we have that hole and now that we know that there's nothing underneath here to damage, we can cut the hole out.
Now we took the time to dry fit the sink and it fits great. So we're gonna take these L brackets and fasten the sink to the countertop. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the L brackets on the underneath portion of the countertop. Keep these L brackets just a little bit loose up against the bottom of the countertop. That way when you put the sink in, then you can push those L brackets in and secure them tightly. Now we're going to put the butyl tape on the back of the sink. And we do that by just measuring it out. And then cutting it with your X-Acto knife and then doing that with all sides. Now that we have the butyl tape on, let's go over to the RV and place it inside the hole. First, we'll take the butyl tape backing off. So what we're doing is um, we put some pressure on that butyl tape around the sink so it would seal completely and some of it came out the side so I'm just so going to clean that up. Now we're going to run a bead of 100% silicone all the way around the sink. This will seal it. Now we'll just wipe that away, clean it up. Now let's go back to the classroom and talk about cleaning and maintaining your sink. In order to properly maintain your stainless steel sink, we prefer that you use a 5% dish soap to water ratio mixture and you can use a microfiber cloth to wipe that out. Now, what we don't want you to use are any steel wools or any abrasive sponges. Also, we don't want you to use chlorine-based cleaners like an oven cleaner or citrus-based cleaner or any pine oil cleaners. This concludes the Better Bath Trow Sink Owners and Aftermarket video.